Day one, activity one. I'm going to read this slide for you, and then if you want more help, you can keep watching as we talk through some strategies for how to solve this problem. Let's read the blue box together first. Benchmark fractions are fractions that are commonly used and easy to imagine in our heads. For example, how big is half? Imagine half of a pizza, half of a sandwich, half of a dollar, half of a pile of toys. Once you can picture half, you can compare other fractions to it. Are they more than half, less than half, or equal to half? So, benchmark fractions are fractions that are really easy. We just kind of know what they look like. One half is probably the most common and easiest benchmark fraction. I don't even have to use a number line or fraction strips. I just know how big half is. I can easily picture what half of a pizza looks like in my head or half of a sandwich. Half is an easy, common benchmark fraction. Using our knowledge of half, we're going to play an activity here on the right. The directions say, drag and drop the fractions from the bank at the bottom into the matching box. Are they more or less than half? We have six fractions in our fraction bank. Your job is to figure out is each fraction less than half or more than half and to drag it to where it belongs. If you have a strategy that will let you do that activity, you can go ahead and close this video. If you're not sure what to do, keep watching and I will offer you one strategy that might help you. The strategy that could be helpful is to think about fraction strips. I'm going to make this screen a little smaller so that we can see our fraction strips here on the right. Let's look at two sixths first. Okay, my fraction strips. I like to start by dragging up one whole so I know what one whole looks like. And then because we're comparing it to half, I'm going to bring up half as my nice benchmark fraction, half of a whole. Now, my job is to think about 2 sixths. Is 2 sixths greater than a half or less than half? I'm going to go to my unit fraction of 1 sixth and drag it up. There's 1 sixth, 2 sixth. 2 sixth is less than the very common benchmark fraction of half. So I know 2 sixths is a pretty small fraction. It's less than half, and I can drag 2 sixths up to this box. Let's remove my sixth and look at 3 fourths. I still have my whole, and I have my benchmark fraction of half. And I want to know, is 3 fourths less than half or more than half? Think about that for a second before I drag my fractions up. Do you think that 3 fourths is less than half or more than half? Let's go to my unit fraction of 1 fourth. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. It looks like 3 fourths is greater or more than 1 half. 3 fourths goes in the more than half box. In fact, I can tell by looking at my model that two-fourths is equivalent to one-half. So that means three-fourths is greater than one-half. Fraction strips are a helpful tool that you can use to help yourself with activity number one.